Jonathan Lee Riches, a.k.a. JLR, Justice for Summer Wells. We are all wondering what type of medication Candace Herrer received that day, June 15, 2021, the day she went to the Walgreens Pharmacy with her daughter, Candace Wells, Summer Wells, and Hunter. We all heard it. They went to the Walgreens Pharmacy. But no one said what type of medication Candace Herrer got. Well, I know. I know. I have a lot of sources and a lot of information about this case at all angles. And I can say with 100% fact that Candace Herrer received the medication hydrocodone ace taminophen. Hydrocodone ace taminophen. That was the medication that Candace Herrer received that day. Hydro, let me say this again. It's very hard to pronounce. Hydrocodone ace taminophen. Hydrocodone ace taminophen. That is the medication she received from the Walgreens Pharmacy on Fort McHenry Drive. I have a lot of um, connects. I know a lot of people behind the scenes in reference to this case. Thank you everyone for entrusting my work and I stand by what I'm saying. So there you go. Is that relevant to the case? I don't know. You take that medication. Is there side effects to that medication once you take it? Interesting, right? Did it change the mindset of what Candace Hare was going through after she took that medication? Because after she took that medication, if she took that medication after receiving it, Summer Wells went missing. Did she take the medication beforehand? Did Summer take the medication? Did Summer take the medication by accident? We all hear about Skittles and candy. Did she take that? So I went to, I'm going to the webmdcom.com webpage and it talks a little bit about hydrocodone, um, ace taminophen, this uses the side effects and more. Uh, this combination medication is used to relieve moderate to severe pain. It contains an opiate pain reliever and a non-opiate pain reliever, uh, ace taminophen. Hydrocodone works in the brain to change how your body feels and responds to pain. How to use it. Read the medication guide if available. The patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist before you start taking this medication and each time you get a refill. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor. So you take it by mouth. You may take this drug with or without food. If you have nausea, it may help to take this drug with food. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about other ways to decrease nausea. So the dosage is based on your medical condition and medical history and in response to treatment. In children, the dosage is also based on weight. In children, it is also based on weight. Do not increase your dose, take the medication more frequently or take it for a longer time than prescribed. Properly stop the medication when it's directed. So just scrolling down here, um, uh, though it helps many people, this medication may sometimes cause addiction. This, may, uh, this risk may be higher if you have sus substance abuse disorder, uh, you know, addicted to alcohol or drugs. Take this medication exactly as prescribed uh let's talk uh tell your doctor pharmacist if you have any withdrawal symptoms such as relentlessness me mental mood changes all right so that is the drug that is the prescription that candace Herrer got at the walgreens that day a lot of people were curious because no one has put it out there i can say for a 100 percent fact that she re received that. And I didn't even know the pharmacist. Catherine Rollins. Catherine Rollins. I know the pharmacist that worked there, that filled her medication. How do I know that? Well, I have sources. That's what I do, right? You guys entrust my work. I stand by what I'm saying. There it is. So what to take of this information? Maybe you guys can... Elaborate, comment, 
you know, if a child took that medication, hydrocodone, ACE Taminophen, what happens to a child if they accidentally or purposely take that medication? But that is the medication Candace Hare received that day. Did she, they get the medication? Did she automatically start popping pain pills? Because remember, she said she was in extreme pain that day. They went to the ER because of her knee. Did she take the medication right away? Did she take it later after they dropped Hunter off? Did she put the medication in the back seat and Summer get into it by accident? Was that medication in Summer's body, wherever Summer is? A lot of unanswered questions, but it's it helps put a little bit more understanding about possibly what happened to Summer Wells that day before she was reported missing. There's a lot of people out there that think that Summer took grandma's medication by accident. Was it that medication or was it other medications that Candace has? She didn't get any other medications that day. That is the only medication she received that day. The only one. That's the only medication she received that day. So giving you some new information. Still digging in on this case. Still trying to find out what happened. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. I am on this case. I'm digging in at all angles. No stone left unturned. What happened to Summer Wells? What happened to Summer Wells? Any uh, pharmacists out there, any nurses out there, anybody in the medical field out there that can elaborate about hydrocodone ace taminophen hydrocodone ace taminophen that's what Candace Hare got that day you know what happens if a child takes it Summer Wells at the time was listed 3 feet 40 pounds small She's small 3 feet 40 pounds what happened what would happen if Summer popped open that prescription bottle thinking it was candy, Skittles, and taking a bunch of them. Now, the description of those drugs, that drug, that prescription, looks like they're white tablets. White. Doesn't look like they're Skittles. But did Summer think they were candy? And then I'm only going by this theory, right? There's many theories of what happened, just speculating. That's what we do. We also report facts. We also report facts. What I told you is a fact. That is the medication that Candace Herrer received that day. That is 100% fact. I will stand by that. I trust my sources 100%. Trust my sources. And I have a lot of sources. I have sources all over the place, you know, and... You know, my track record on this case, go review the hundreds of videos I made about this case. I get a lot of information. I don't get it all. A lot of you guys get stuff too out there. A lot of the YouTube creators and people following this case get good stuff too. But, I, you know, you got to admit that I get some good stuff too, right? That's what we do. We collectively use this platform to share what we discover and then other people can go with it and, and, and dig in more, maybe find out more about this or more about any information that's put out there. That's 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 our goal here, you know. I want to share the information because I want the information out there for other people to share and to dig in on my information. That's how it works. You know, we're just trying to find summer wells. A year is approaching. A year is too long, people. One year since summer wells went missing. The Hawkins County Sheriffs and the TBI are very tight-lipped. They don't reveal, you know, they don't release much, if at all. They haven't really released anything. All they've been talking about is the, you know, few searches that they did in the winter back at the beginning stages. But ever since, we don't hear much. We did hear Ronnie Lawson speak a couple months ago saying that Don and Candace Wells have lawyers and they're not currently cooperating. You know, we wonder where Candace is. Both Candaces, where are they? Hearing that they're not 
on the home of Ben Hill Road. No one is there at the house right now. Thank God the dogs and the animals got rescued from there. A lot of animal rights activists out there that were concerned about the animals, including myself. So that's the prescription that Candace Herrer received that day. If you have any information about the whereabouts of Summer Wells, contact the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation 1-800-TBI-FINE. Justice for Summer Wells.